in a crisis, seconds matter. That's why preparation is vital. So that's why today, several area first responders, along with Kettering Health, work to make sure they're ready when the worst case scenario happens. Eli Burgett spoke to the teams involved about why the training is so important. Witnessed how they prepare. Eli? Well, Kettering Health, in partnership with the Beaver Creek Fire Department and MedFlight, carried out a construction collapse scenario. Crews from, left from the Beaver Creek Fire Department earlier today, and they responded to a simulated emergency, and we were right there along with them. What it's going to entail is a catastrophic event that's going to have somebody that is pinned and crushed and they're unable to remove them. So they're going to manage them as best they can. Kettering Health's surgical emergency response team, which contains a trauma surgeon, advanced practice provider, and a surgical technician, works side by side with first responders during emergencies. In partnership with the Beaver Creek Township Fire Department and MedFlight, SERT conducted a construction collapse simulation and gave us a closer look at how these teams work together in the field. And when we deploy on these type of things with our surgical emergency response team, we are partners with them on scene. We all have the same end goal um, to take care of patients and provide excellent care. The crews all began here at the Beaver Creek Township Fire Department before being dispatched to the scene. Beaver Creek Fire arrived first, but they were quickly followed by the MedFlight helicopter, transporting SERT members to the simulated construction collapse. Within 15 minutes, all three teams successfully removed the victim from the rubble and gave them the care they would need in a real simulation. These organizations say that simulations like these are necessary to keep them sharp for when it's the real thing. If you don't train on these kind of things, it's uh, something that you lose knowledge on, you're not as proficient in. So if you don't train, uh, it's not something that you're proficient in, and we want it to be as proficient as possible anytime we're called an emergency and needed. The response services involved today also hope that this exercise provides the public a better look at how these teams collaborate during an emergency. And they also want to say that they are here for you whenever you need them. Back to you.